Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Carrie Elkins, Education Assistant at the Appleton Museum of Art, and this is To Be or Not To Be by Dionel Delgado. Dionel Delgado is a Cuban artist, cartoonist, and illustrator known for his large-scale paintings that depict everyday life and landscapes of Cuba. As a resident of Old Havana, he finds inspiration from observations of the streets near his studio. His works represent his experiences and views of today's Cuba. To Be or Not To Be is one work in Delgado's magazine series. This large oil painting is 79 by 59 inches. The painting depicts the fictional cover of Country magazine, which features a young boy with black hair wearing jean shorts and flip-flops sitting on the windowsill of a dilapidated building. The boy sits on the right side of the windowsill, hugging his knees towards his chest. His face is in profile to the viewer as he gazes towards the left side of the windowsill where a goldfish faces him floating in a small fishbowl. The boy and the fish appear to be in mutual contemplation of each other. Delgado's painting of the fictional magazine includes an edition number and price near the upper right corner of the painting and a barcode in the lower right corner to complete the illusion. The old boarded up window was one Delgado had seen in Havana. Delgado said, the wood aged with time and loosened pieces fell, leaving an abstract mosaic of line and text. Angelo was a text that was drawn on the wall with chalk, and surely some boy drew his name on the wall with the innocent belief that it would endure over time. Año 53, seen in the upper right corner of the work, is a reference to 1953, the beginning of the Cuban Revolution. The young boy depicted was used as a model for a number of works and lived in a house where Delgado's studio was in Old Havana. Delgado believes that kids are the future of everything. In this particular work, the boy represents the child of Cuba today, and according to Delgado, he is, quote, recognizing himself without the possibility of knowing new worlds or having new challenges. Delgado cites Norman Rockwell as an inspiration, who he became aware of while attending San Alejandro Academy of Fine Arts. Rockwell was known for his illustrated covers that reflected America's society and culture. Delgado seeks to portray the history of Cuba in its everyday life, not an imitation of Rockwell, but as an adaptation. He said, Sometimes I use well-known magazines and I appropriate a graphic poster visually with the idea of being able to scrutinize the reality of the island and place it in front of the viewer like a huge mirror. A central theme in Cuban art is the self-awareness of being an island isolated, with the sea acting as both an endless horizon and a visible barrier. The phrase at the bottom of the painting, como los peces, or like the fish, clearly indicates that the boy feels like the fish, stuck in a fishbowl he cannot escape. Delgado said, it is a goldfish that will never see its consummated potential, just one more fish in the fishbowl watching a whole world live their lives and having options to make your dreams come true or not. But the frustration of not feeling entitled to more is, in my opinion, what disturbs you the most. The title of the painting, To Be or Not To Be, is seen in red lettering underneath the country magazine title and is a direct reference to the famous soliloquy of Shakespeare's Hamlet, in which Prince Hamlet questions whether it is better to live or to die. Is it truly living if it's a life stuck in a fishbowl? Maritzabel Jauregui Rodriguez, an education assistant here at the Appleton, who was born and raised in Cuba, was moved when she saw the piece. She states, It brought back memories of growing up feeling trapped and wanting to get out of my own fishbowl, imagining what will be beyond. Thank you for listening. We look forward to sharing more about our collection with you in the next Art Minutes. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.